Did you know 17% of household energy is used on heating and cooling? So drawing the blinds not only protects against lusty admirers, it's also a great cost-saving device. I rang the power company the other day and they told me about these two little beauties. This one, it's called a power mate. What's that I hear you say? Well, it's gonna tell me exactly how much energy each appliance uses and how much it's costing me. Whereas this little treasure is a centimetre, and that's gonna tell me about my total household power usage. Mm, alone at last. If I turn two extra lights off, that means I could afford an extra case of beer a year. Well, if I turn off my second fridge, that could save me around $160 a year of my energy bill. I had no idea that old fridges could sap so much energy. <sighs> hey, Scott. Oh, you look wrecked. How many times do I have to tell you, knock before you come in? Well, I could have been naked or, or entertaining or naked entertaining. What's up with you? Why are you so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm trying to save money on my energy bill and I just don't know where to start. Actually, can you turn that light off? You don't have to live in the dark. There's some pretty simple things you can do to reduce your electricity bills. Yeah, well, well I know this one. I've changed all my lights to compact fluorescents. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I found that these globes last four times longer and only use a fraction of the energy. Oh, and not turn all my appliances off at the wall when I'm not using them, but uh, that's where I get a little bit stuck. I mean, what else can I do? Well, follow me. What about the insulation in your ceiling? You know, you lose a lot of heat through the roof. Oh, come on, how much can you honestly lose through the roof? Uh, by insulating your ceiling and roof, you can probably reduce your heating and cooling costs by 45%. And you also need to be able to seal all gaps to external doors and windows. Why? Does that make a difference? Absolutely. If your home is drafty, you're just going to let all the air rush through. Well, there is a simple thing of keeping all doors closed that lead to unheated areas. Yeah, that's just common sense. Oh, fair enough, but do you do it? Yeah, most of the time. When I remember. You can also put your heater on a lower thermostat setting. You won't notice a difference in temperature. OK, nice one. Yeah, there's just a lot of little things you can do. Well, you've got more. Plenty, really. For instance, if you're going to be buying appliances, go for the ones with high energy and water efficiency ratings. And with washing machines and dishwashers, just make sure they're full before you use them. I'm installing an efficient shower head. That's terrific. You should probably also consider installing a solar hot water system. And it's going to be really important that you switch to renewable green power. Hey, look at you with all your information. Actually, I should be writing this down. Uh... <sighs> Look, Scott, it's just common sense things that can save you hundreds of dollars and you make less of an impact. Yeah, that's my aim, you know, save the world and save money. Well, good luck. As you can see, it's not that hard. Yeah, I've got a long way to go, though. Yeah. You know what we need? What's that? A couple of beers. Sounds like a plan. There you go. Cheers. Better turn those lights off to pay for it. To find out more about making your house a smart house, visit livingthing.net.au.